The recently concluded Jam GC drew flag from authorities after they received complaints from students about the sexual nature of the content at the competition. These allegations caused a huge uproar in the institute, leading to the GC's results being declared null and void. I have been a Jam Master and have hosted more than 30 inter-college events. Moodai uh, at IIT Bombay, Umang at NM College in Bombay, I am Ahmedabad's Fest Chaos, uh, Kaleidoscope at Sophia College are some of the more notable jams I've jam mastered at. And the event we had last week at IIT Bombay would not have been out of place in terms of content at any one of these prestigious jams. I have many problems with it. Firstly, the content. Uh, many people might be very comfortable talking about their own body parts and uh, about only sexual things in, a pub in public. The first thing that started off was about a pink underwear. And then I thought, I mean, several of the girls were not comfortable from our hostel. And I thought it's going to get better, but never, it never got better. Despite this, someone at the event felt offended or insulted. They had every opportunity to raise objection right there. Uh, and we would certainly have adjusted the event to their comfort. However, no such objection was raised. In her email, Ms. Rao says that she and her friends didn't raise objection because it would have made them seem uh, unwitty. Uh, I wish she had raised objection right there. It would have saved all of us the trouble of reading thousands of emails over the last few days. It was supposed to be a public event. It was supposed to be open for all kinds of people. It was a competition, an inter-hostel inter competition. So in such a case, what kind of things do you talk and what do you not talk is, I thought, something very basic. Um, in her email, she says the events of that day shocked her and that she, were, she felt a very strongly negative surprise having attended the gym that she seen. With respect, the most shocking thing for me was that she was shocked. Even if you were supposed to do such kind of an event, say it beforehand. When the jam master did in the beginning mention that he did issue a warning saying that the content might be found offensive by some people. So, they, don't take it too seriously. You know, yeah, that's what he basically said. At each of my jams, and I certainly did at this one, I provide a, a fair warning about the content of the jam before the event begins. And I say that some of this event, some of this content could be offensive uh, to some people perceivably and that it wasn't meant to be offensive or insulting but that it was all meant in good humour. You're supposed to be sensitive towards people when, there are all kinds, when you have opened a company for all kinds of people. I have no problem if this kind of content is done in a public or in a private gathering where there are only like-minded people. I don't care. I mean, it's none of my business to go and morally for this time. I think what that you need to talk about here is censorship and when do you decide what you're going to censor and where do you draw the line. Now, um, there's a certain number of girls, women from H11 who think that what happened at the Jam GC was worth censoring. It was, it was um, bad enough that you get to infringe on our right to free speech. Now, the point I'm making is, even if there's something that offends you personally, to say that it offends an entire demographic or in this case an entire sex you need to have more basis than this is just not done or this doesn't happen in some places. How are you benefiting society by organizing such kind of such kind of talks in the event? Like is it increasing your creativity? No, you're just imagining the guys who were talking about it or the girls who were talking about it were just imagining the whole act, sexual act in their mind and they were talking those statements. So how is how how is it related to your creativity? How is it funny? How is it pretty? Now, I will feel very very offended if you tell me that I can't talk about vagina. I will feel very offended if you tell me that I can't talk about sex. And I think you're being far more detrimental to society by telling them that sex and nudity is a taboo. Sex and nudity being a taboo is possibly the biggest problem that this country has. And I think as educated people, we ought to embrace the fact that sex and nudity aren't such a big deal. It's okay to make fun of sex and nudity just like it's okay to make fun of food. What are you trying to achieve when you organize an event which only talks about sex, sexuality and nudity? The other issue I want to bring up is the fact that there was some accusation that you were commoditizing um, men and women both through the jam and that this is somehow this is a bad thing. Uh, first, jam is not a social cause at all. That said, of course, there is a social responsibility for anything that happens in public. Was the jam about sex, it was making sex more acceptable and hence less of a taboo and 
and hence making commoditizing less of a problem in society. I think that the more the more you censor sex in public, the bigger problem sex becomes in the Indian context. I mean, you know, just like you need sex education so that children know how to talk about sex. Beyond that, you need to allow people to talk about sex. I'm not, I'm, I'm not just in the context of the Jam GC, but a general censorship regarding sex is a really, really big problem. And I mean, I really hope that doesn't happen in the Institute. The Institute IIT happens to be one place, but I feel comfortable talking about sex. I'm not sure I'd be able to do that on the streets of Mumbai. And to conclude, I'd just like to say the Jam is a fun, light-hearted event and people come to this to have a good time. The spirit never was or is to insult someone or offend someone, uh, but to actually take things in the right humorous way in which they are being spoken. We have vaginas and we're going to talk about it.